Well, as Breast Cancer Awareness Month continues, radiologists are using artificial intelligence to detect disease earlier and faster. That's right. CBS LA's Amy Johnson met one survivor who is a firm believer in the technology and believes more women should give it a try. It's frightening to hear that you have cancer no matter what stage. Teresa and Tista McEwen received the terrifying news a year ago. No matter where you are in your life, it is a really scary, eye-opening, full alarm, house fire feeling. Fortunately for this wife and mother of two, her cancer was found early, really early. I had my regular mammogram. They thought they saw something. They also ran it through AI. And before I even left the parking lot, I got a phone call asking to come back and schedule a biopsy. That quick biopsy was positive for cancer. From detection to, to when I had a lumpectomy to when I was in radiation wasn't even six months. AI is not only fast, but one of the newest weapons in the fight against breast cancer. The artificial intelligence process works within seconds, if not a few minutes. And the diagnosis or the highlighting of suspicious lesions happens almost instantly before it even gets to our desk to interpret it as a radiologist. So it does happen very quickly. Dr. Jason McKellop is part of McEwen's medical team using what they call EBCD, which stands for Enhanced Breast Cancer Detection. It's the newest and uh, most cutting edge technology that we have as, a, as far as breast cancer screening goes. And basically what it is, it's the incorporation of artificial intelligence into our normal paradigm of breast cancer screening using screening mammography. So essentially a patient comes into our facility, uh, gets a mammogram as she normally would, and has a radiologist interpret that mammogram as they normally would, uh, but with the additional step of additional scrutiny made by artificial intelligence. He showed us firsthand how it works. If I bring your attention here, um, it's, it's essentially invisible or obscured by the breast density uh, within this case. And the artificial intelligence, on the other hand, points it out and now we scrutinize it. But they don't just rely on AI. If there's any discrepancy between the artificial intelligence interpretation and the radiologist interpretation, that goes to yet a third level of scrutiny uh, where a second radiologist tries to reconcile that discrepancy. So it's uh, multiple layers of scrutiny on the same mammogram that a woman would normally uh, have performed and what we're finding are very encouraging and exciting results. McKellop says with the technology, they're diagnosing cancers at a 20% higher rate than they previously did, catching the disease earlier and at a smaller yeah, stage, which was very beneficial for McEwen. Do you worry or think that maybe if you didn't have the AI and it wasn't caught and you waited for the next, not that you were gonna miss your mammogram, but yeah. you went the following year, what could have happened in that year? Oh, I think that if we had not detected this breast cancer at an early phase, I think I would be telling you a very different story today. I think that I would um, have a much more, invest, much more advanced breast cancer. McEwen is grateful AI was part of her screening. She's now doing well and is cancer free. Amy Johnson, CBS LA. And AI isn't only being used in mammograms. That's right. It's also mm -hmm. being used across the anatomy in CT scans, MRIs, and in ultrasounds.